What's going on everyone? DJ Fitness Deal News Reviews and together with people. The second version of one of the best pump formulas out there ever created Apollo Nutrition Blood Sport V2 people. In typical Apollo Nutrition tradition, these guys do not sit still for a moment, people. We're gonna take you through the web of this thing to refresh your memory. What was in the original one and also what's different about this on label people. But then I'm actually gonna tell you how did this shit feel like and is it different from V1? And did they break it? Did they make it better? Did it didn't change. And then towards the end of the video, as usual, this I'm gonna map this shit for you and tell you where it fits. If it fits in your steam junkie pump journey. And all I'm gonna ask in return, by the way, is that you hit that like button. Okay, people. So Apollo Nutrition. By the way, if you've never heard about the term the name Apollo Nutrition, then you've been living under a steam junkie rock people these are the people that brought you hooligan pre-workout hooligan burn which i'm gonna mention in a second obviously assassin which version 8 is coming very soon people version 8 with a surprise on it people with a surprise on it yeah wait for it yeah anyway people they've brought you i mean their line their line is just insane there's probably like 25 different products I think just pre-workouts, there's like seven or eight between steam free and steam uh, and steam based. Anyway, people, so Bloodsport, they launched the first version of this maybe two years ago, I think, or a year and a half ago. I was, to be honest, involved, not in the formulation or something like that, but I actually think, I told Abrobic from Apollo Nutrition, that the right way to do a pump formula is to just to go put all the money and the ingredients into the pump. I don't like these in-betweeners right i either like a full steam free version of a pre-workout like a pollen nutrition burnout which i'm going to link to below which has power ingredients beta alanine focus ingredients everything like a full steam pre-workout just without the stimulants and then on the other hand i just want to go full-on pump formula and if you can please make it unflavored because a full-on pump formula for me is always an add-on to a steam junkie based pre-workout right you take a steam junkie or a steam pre-workout you just want to get more pumps you want to feel it you want better mind muscle connection you want, the pump is vanity right you don't need the pump pump doesn't really make you bigger you know you just feel bigger you look bigger for a while but it, then it goes away but we like it and if you can afford it fuck that shit take it why not right so anyway so that's what i told robic at the time and he actually came in and did an amazing job with blood sport v1 unflavored just pure pump ingredients and that shit was nasty nasty pumps people nasty yeah and they have burn knuckle, like i mentioned which is a full steam free they also have like pills version anyway anyway people as far as what's in blood sport so this is a very similar formula to the v1 one and i'm actually gonna tell you there's one difference so as far as what's in it 20 servings and 40 servings half a scoop and two scoops i'm actually gonna do half a scoop and full scoop this is the full scoop challenge so i'm gonna read you the full scoop if you want to save some money and get more, I'm telling you right in advance, you can actually take less than a full scoop and you still feel most of the effects there. I'm just telling you, most of the effects you're going to still feel. Definitely comes in better at full scoop, but if you want to save some money, get more uh, servings out of this, you can try 0.75 scoop, for example, three quarters of a scoop. But that's it, people. L-citrine, 10 grams. 10 grams, people. 10 grams. That is a lot of fucking L-citrine. For pumps everything i'm going to tell you is for pump arginine nitrates everything nitrates is amazing and there's three grams of arginine nitrates here by the way i feel arginine nitrates also on two grams exactly to my point about 0.75 there's no way to fuck around with nitrates it's a patented ingredient you're gonna get your ass sued so in this case labels aren't labels people yeah 10 grams, what, 3 grams. So by the way, if you look at the L-citrine, even if you take half a scoop, it's like, if you take half a scoop, it's 5 grams L-citrine, which is more than you'll find in most other pump formulas. Taurine, a 2 grams, so that's an all-arounder. It helps also with pumps and a bunch of other stuff. And this is where the biggest difference is. Vaso Drive AP, 1 gram. I don't think I've ever seen Vaso Drive AP at 1 gram. Usually, it's 256 milligrams. 1 fucking gram. Now, Vaso Drive AP is one of the best vasodilator no production 
swollenness pumping vascularity ingredient out there i've never i don't know what robic had in his mind to literally double the recommended dose by the manufacturer by the way so if you take half a scoop this is the recommended dose by the manufacturer robic here from apollo nutrition just went double double why Fuck that because he can't <laughs> as far as uh, the next things grapeseed extract i think 400 milligrams was in the previous one also it's going to help you with swollenness and estrogen for absorption because there's a lot of ingredients so simple formula super overloaded the point nutrition always goes overloaded over the top now does over the top always better than just the top no but they go over the top. If you like that approach, you like Apollo Nutrition. If you don't like a pro that approach, then go get something else. But they go over the top. So again, this is very similar to Bloodsport V1 with the Vasodrive AP being the biggest difference. I'm trying to remember if they, if they had eight grams of citrulline in the first version versus the 10 here. But again, really at the end of the day, it won't necessarily matter because you're in any case saturating the living fuck out of your muscles. But what I like about this, the combination of the different pump ingredients like L-citrulline and arginine and then vasodrive, right? All that stuff works a bit differently from an NO production perspective. So they're sort of supposed to complement each other. But labels are just labels, people. Listen! So this is unflavored. It only comes with one flavor, unflavored. So fuck your flavor, fuck your unflavored, by the way. But this is awesome. I love this thing. I like the fact that Bloodsport only stays with one flavor. True to the cause. This is an add-on to your pre-workout. Whether it's an opponent pre-workout or some other pre-workout, this is an add-on for a pump formula. And again, like I said, pumps are vanity. If you don't like to get pumped or you don't want to spend the money or you don't have the money, well, we rather donate it. Go donate the fucking money. I'm not telling you to get pumped. If you want to be just feel good about yourself go donate the money it's another way to feel good getting pumped does make you feel good also i'll just tell you that okay people so blood sport listen to this this is very much like the original blood sport i did feel a bit of a difference but i'm gonna and i'm gonna tell you what it is but let me tell you blood sport the original one and this one is top three ever pump formulas for me the combination of nitrates with the amount of citrine with the Vesodrive AP, similar to V1, this thing feels nasty. Pumps. Nasty. And what I really like about Bloodsport, this is, and it was in the V1 also, and I'll tell you a bit about the difference between this one and the uh, V1, V1. But the same like V1, this shit lasts longer. You just feel swole for a longer time. And I really like this in addition to a pre-workout, a sting pre-workout also, because the pumps... And because they're so tight here, these are tight. You know, there's wet pumps where you just feel swole, like the muscle feels swole, but like uh, soft. These are tight pumps, tight people, tight. Yeah, so I really like it. And, and it hits you, it hits you, and then it lasts for a very long time. So again, it's not gonna last you for a full day. You're not gonna walk around feeling swole for a day, but this shit definitely feels the swoleness a couple of hours post-workout which I really like. So the, also one thing I would tell you about V1, and again, it doesn't happen with every pump formula. Some amazing pump formulas don't get it. I, I'm vascular anyway on the arms, but I definitely felt more vascularity coming in. The nitrates would do that to you, right? So a lot of stuff with nitrates that I tried actually does that for me. The vascularity comes out. Let me, so anyway, listen, this is still a top-notch pump formula. If you like it, if you want it, if you can afford it, you, that, it doesn't get better than this. This is a top three pure pump formula out there and the fact that it's unflavored, I love. Now, I will tell you this. The only difference I think I felt versus everyone, and then by the way, this might be fucking placebo, right? Because it's very hard to tell. I did feel that this hit me a bit faster as far as when it's I start to feel it. You know, sometimes you feel it in the second set, third set, fourth set. This thing almost felt like I feel it in the first set. Took this obviously 20 minutes before I go into the gym. I felt it from like the first minute, the three times that I tried it. Now, it might be placebo and it's exactly like V1. Listen to this, people. Listen just to this. Let me tell you this. It just doesn't get much better than this. Are there stuff as good? There's probably, I, I told you, it's a top three, so there's two others. But this is as good as it gets if you want a pure pump for I hate the fucking mid-between where there's pump and then you drop like nootropics on me without the beta alanine, without the power, without all this shit, without... I don't like it. Just give me either pumps or full-on steam-free pre-workout so I can cycle off stimulants. Man, oh man, this is good as far as a pump formula. Again, a nutrition overdoses shit. So you're, you're paying in this one for an overdosed pump formula. 
And like I said, when you look at this thing, you say, oh shit, this is a bit expensive for 20 servings, man. Take, take half a scoop. Take 75% of a scoop. This is in 75%, even in fucking half a scoop, this is more loaded than most pump formulas out there. So you have 40 servings, value for money. Try 75. By the way, I, and I know, I know some of you people like myself, by the way, we always go full scoop because we say the manufacturer went full scoop, I'm gonna go full scoop. Apollon overdoses shit. Try the half a scoop, see how you feel. Try the 75%, see how you feel. You can save some money. Listen, people, V2 is very much like V1, maybe, potentially, hits a bit faster. Generally speaking, vascularity tight. Muscle pumps tight. Okay, people, I'm going to link below to the page of Fitness News where you can find deals, coupons, save some money while supporting the channel. Listen, people. Pumps don't last, but they do feel good. Yeah.